Hello everyone, today I am going to talk about the advantages of using predatory insect called green lace wings as biological control agents uh, for the control of aphids. But before that we will first see what we learned from my previous uh, video on predatory insects and aphids. Specifically we learned about the direct and indirect damages caused by aphids to uh, different crops. And we also learned the definition of predatory insect. Different types of predatory insects commonly found in the nature and commercially available for the biological control of insect pests, uh, including aphids. Of these four predatory insects that are shown on this slide, we mainly learned about the identification and life cycle of predatory ladybugs and their use as a biological control of aphids. Now I will talk about the advantages of using another predatory insect called green lace wing as a biological control agent for the control of aphids. Specifically, I will share with you their identification characteristics, life cycle, ability to control aphids and appropriate timings and methods uh, of their release in the aphid infested uh, greenhouses, gardens or fields. The identification of predatory green lace wings is very easy. As shown in the photograph, their adults are very small, about 20 mm long and they have uh, pale yellow colored body. They have small heads uh, with golden or copper colored eyes. Uh, they have bright green colored and transparent wings with heavy venation. Females lay very small about one millimeter long eggs. Their shape is oblong. Uh, eggs are whitish at laying but become grayish at hatching. As shown in the photograph, each egg is attached to plant surface uh, with a silky stalk. Larvae of green lace wings are very small, about 12 mm long, spindle shaped and they all look like small alligators. Uh, they have uh, sickle shaped uh, mandibles that they use for pun puncturing the aphids. Larvae are generally reddish to brown in color uh, with two yellow uh, stripes on the head. Third stage uh, larvae of green lace wing bugs generally pupate inside the silky cocoons which are whitish in color and about 6 mm in uh, diameter. The life cycle of um, predatory green lace wings is very simple. It consists of four developmental stages including adults, eggs, larvae and pupae. Adult females after mating lay eggs in bunches or singly near to the aphid colonies uh, on the uh, leaf surfaces, uh, stems and twigs. Unique thing of uh, eggs laying by females of uh, green lace wings is that each uh, egg is attached singly to the plant surface with a silky stalk so that newly hatched larvae can protect themselves uh, from eating each other uh, after hatching. Eggs hatch into small uh, larvae within four to five days depending on the temperature. Newly hatched larvae uh, then start uh, feeding on aphids and develop through three developmental stages or instars such as first, second and third instar larvae. The matured third instar larvae then uh, spin silky cocoon around themselves and pupate inside. The young adults emerge from pupae within two to three weeks uh, and start feeding on aphids. While feeding, um, uh, young adults um, become mature and then mated females start laying eggs and life cycle continues. Thus, the green uh, lace wing uh, can complete uh, several generations in a year depending on the environmental uh, conditions. Now we will see how do predatory green lace wings can control aphids. Green uh, lace wings larvae uh, 
uh, are predator in nature and very active predators of aphids. When they come across aphid colony, they will immediately start uh, feeding on uh, all the stages of aphids and eliminate uh, their populations. Mm. Adults are not predatory in nature and they can only feed on nectar and pollen. It is well known uh, fact that larvae can feed uh, over 200 aphids in a week. Uh, while feeding, larvae will puncture the body of aphids with mandibles and feed on the content of the aphid body. And that is how they can control aphids. For the effective control of aphids, it is important to release either larvae, adults or eggs of green lace wings at appropriate timing, uh, especially when population of aphids are at highest or lowest levels in the greenhouses, gardens or in the field. Upon arrival, release adults, larvae or eggs early in the morning or evening to avoid their direct exposure to heat so that their survival and effectiveness will be enhanced. If it is not possible uh, to apply them uh, upon their arrival, uh, they can be stored in a cool, cool place for only 48 hours. Since only larvae can directly feed on the aphids, release them when aphid population is at highest level so that they can start immediately uh, feeding on them and controlling uh, aphid populations. Since uh, adults and eggs cannot eat aphids directly, release them when aphid population is low so that released eggs or eggs laid by uh, females uh, after releasing will hatch into larvae that in turn can start feeding on increasing aphid populations. Upon arrival, place eggs on plants near to aphid colonies so that hatched larvae from eggs can immediately start feeding on aphids. For quick aphid control, release larvae instead of adults on the plants near to the aphid colonies where they can voraciously feed on all the stages of aphids. Since uh, <coughs> adults can only feed on pollen and nectar, Releasing them in the gardens or greenhouses will take time to control aphids because they have to first uh, lay eggs that need to be hatched into small larvae that uh, can only feed on aphids. However, if adults are released, they will fly actively and find aphid colonies where uh, they will um, lay eggs that will hatch into uh, larvae that will have immediate access to aphids as a food. Application rates of green lace wings are generally vary with the pest pressure, but for effective control of aphids, release 50 to 200 green lace wings um, per 1000 square foot area or 2000 to 12000 per uh, acre. Uh, for quick aphid control, release 200 larvae instead of adults on the plants near to the aphid colonies where they can immediately and voraciously feed on aphids. Uh, repeat applications of green lace wings every seven days until aphid populations are eliminated or reduced below their economic threshold levels. So we will see now the advantages of using predatory green lace wings for the biological control of aphids in the greenhouses, gardens, or fields. Green <coughs> lace wings larvae are very active and effective predators of aphids because they can move quickly and find aphid colonies in the aphid instead of um, aphid infested areas and start munching on them. Green lace wings can reproduce continuously as long as they have enough food to survive. Um, Green lace wings are easy to release uh, in the aphid infested areas. They are uh, safe to handle. They are not harmful to plants, workers, pets, uh, wildlife and environment. Unlike pesticides, they do not leave any uh, toxic uh, residues on the uh, produce um, and the, therefore 
produce is safe to eat any time after uh, its harvesting. Visit bugsforgrowers.com to gain practical knowledge about organic growing, insect pest control practice that does not harm plants, people, or pets. Uh, to read blogs on biological control of insect pests of different crops, animals, and honeybee hives. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And look for next video on biological control of aphids using predatory uh, praying mantis.